Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Shani. If you guys didn't know, and today I'm going to be finally, finally doing a QA. and I know, I was supposed to do this a while ago, but I'm doing it now. So let's just go ahead and get into this Q&A. Okay, so I'm pulling the questions from my Instagram, Snapchat, and I'll probably go on YouTube and go through the comments and answer those questions. I don't know how long this video is going to be, but I'll answer as much questions in this video as I can and then I'll probably do another Q&A if you guys want me to so yeah okay so the first question is from Instagram and it says does your skin ever change from oily to dry if so what products do you use okay so yes my skin does change from oily to dry during the pollen season that's when my skin is very textured and dry and irritated because I'm allergic to pollen during the season change like winter is more normal to oily and then during the summer seasons and spring season is more like dry and I can't get enough moisture in it if that makes any sense at all and the products that I use on my skin right now I use the coconut oil from Shea Moisture and then I use the cocoa butter lotion from Palmer's to moisturize my skin and to wash my face I'm using the Ambi bar soap it's like a green bar soap and to exfoliate I use brown sugar and coconut oil and olive oil mixed together so that's kind of my skincare routine right now i really don't have a skincare routine but that's what works for me what are the top drugstore foundations and finishing powders that you recommend for oily slash dark skin for powders to set your face i recommend the fit me um, matte and poreless powder and for foundation i recommend the true match super blendable foundation are you in a relationship <laughs> no I'm not in a relationship <laughs> I am single what do you do outside of YouTube I work at Mac and I also have a second job on top of that I don't really do anything else outside of YouTube but work so yeah I don't really have a life <laughs> where are you from I'm from North Carolina Dreamville 26 stand up <laughs> how old are you I am 23 years of age <laughs> What school did you go to and what's your major? I am a college dropout. <laughs> but when I was in school, I majored in business administration and yeah, I didn't finish. Can you do a skincare routine video? Um, I already have one on my channel, but it's kind of dated. But if you guys want to watch that one, you can watch that one. It probably still works for me if I went back to that routine. But right now, I don't really have a routine down. So when I have a routine down and I stick to it, then I'll film it for you guys. Okay? Okay. Okay, next question. Have you ever dated outside of your race? And if not, would you date outside of your race? Yeah, if I'm attracted to you, I don't see why not. Yeah, I've dated outside of my race. Now that I think about it, well, I dated outside of my ethnicity. Correction. Okay, next question. If you had to give up two makeup items for a year, what would you choose? Eyeshadow and lip liner. I think I could live without those two. Next question, are you dating? No, I am not currently dating anybody. Okay, next question, what is your ethnicity, background, what got you into makeup and YouTube? I'm always curious. Okay, so the first question, what is my ethnicity? I am Jamaican and I recently found out that I came from the Maroon tribe. Um, if you guys don't know what that is, you guys can look it up on YouTube. Um, so yeah, I am Jamaican. A maroon Jamaican if I'm saying it right but I'm Jamaican full Jamaican my mom and dad is Jamaican <laughs> mom and sperm donor. <laughs> okay next question um what got you into makeup so I was always like a girly girl and a tomboy at the same time because I played sports I always remember going to like stores and buying press on nails so I had like a little tomboyish vibe to me too but what got me into makeup was probably when I was in high school um, I danced and we always had to wear makeup for our dance concerts. So that's what kind of pushed me into makeup because I would do people's makeup for the recital. I would do the dude's makeup for our dance recitals and then when I started cheerleading that just pushed me more into makeup even though I didn't wear a lot of makeup in high school. I think I just wore powder foundation to be honest um, and I didn't start wearing that until sophomore year. I'm not sure, but I wasn't wearing a full face of makeup in high school. What got me into YouTube? I'm not really sure what got me into YouTube. I was really interested because I was like, people make money on YouTube? How? <laughs> I used to just watch music videos on YouTube 
and then I came across Jaclyn Hill. I did I didn't really understand like how people were doing it as a job. Um, and then this one girl that I went to high school with, one day in the bathroom, she told me that I should do YouTube, and I was like, "What the heck is YouTube? Like, I don't know what I don't know. I just did it. I just started. I was bored. I live in North Carolina. There's really nothing to do but work and get into trouble or play sports and go to school." And now I'm here. <laughs> Next question, how often do I wash my hair? I wash my hair probably every three weeks or so when my hair is in its natural state, naturally curly. I wash it probably once a month and then I co-wash it every two weeks if i'm not mistaken okay next question what are my career goals that's a really good question to be very financially stable and happy in my career that's that's my goal that might be really broad but yeah okay next question exactly how tall are you i'm 5 11 and i'm still scared to purchase fashion nova jeans i'm 5 10 and their pants normally come long not long on me but they just fit how do you become confident with stretch marks i have them but i'm always insecure about wearing things that reveal them i just honestly stop caring <laughs> it kind of bothers me sometimes when people just like stare at them like i catch people looking at them and not looking at me <laughs> i used to wear like long sleeves that came to like right here so my stretch marks weren't exposed but then i just stopped caring because i was hot during the summer and everybody around me was just like they don't look that bad so why are you tripping so much hey beautiful do you know of any eyebrow thickeners i don't really know of any eyebrow thickeners but um, I use this brow and lash rejuvenator. I'm not sure where I got this from because it was sent to me So I'm gonna try to find this brand for you guys and link it down below But this is what I use at night for my lashes just to make sure my lashes not disappearing And if you use it on your brows, it'll make them grow back, but not make them thicker. Do you do booking for makeup? Yes, I do but currently right now. I'm not taking any clients because I'm trying to focus on YouTube But you guys will know when I'm taking clients again, but right now I'm not currently taking clients. How do you get them to send free stuff? I have a company asking me to be an affiliate with them. I just need some information. I would research any company that's trying to work with you, to be honest, because some of these companies out here don't really care about you. They care about your numbers and your subscribers and what they can make off of you so I would research any company that contacts you um, and how do you get free stuff they usually contact you through your email so yeah okay how did you get hired at Mac like what did you have to do I had to turn in my resume and cover letter and you just go from there to be honest it took me about a year to get hired at Mac I don't really remember how long it took me from getting the interview to getting the job, but I didn't start actually working at Mac until around the end of 2015. So, yeah. And I applied for the freelance position, so I'm a freelance makeup artist for Mac, and we had two interviews. The first interview was like a regular interview, and then we had the makeup interview. Where did you learn makeup? P.S. I love you, Shani. I love you too. I just learned over time. I was self-taught, and that's how I like learned it, I guess you could say. What is your thoughts on a good relationship? Uh, I feel like if you're in a good relationship, um, the person is not hindering you. They're adding light to your life. Um, both of you guys are prospering. I feel like you would know if you're in a good relationship and you know if you're not in a good relationship. I don't know, y'all. Don't ask me about relationships. I'll be getting played out here too. Alright, you guys, so that is the end of this QA. Um, I really hope you guys liked it. And if you did, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and comment down below. Um, if you guys want me to do another Q&A, let me know. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next upload. Bye! My family just got home. I don't know how I'm about to film this Q&A because they're about to be loud. Stop screaming, Amari! I said stop screaming! Are you gonna stop screaming? That's my nephew. Yes, Junior.